Deputy President William Ruto risks failing to get the backing of Mount Kenya region in his 2022 presidential bid. According to former MP Koyagi Wawamwer, Ruto and his allies were using the wrong strategy to get the support of the populist community in the next election. The politics of you owe me a debt won't work for Ruto. That is blackmail politics. Kikayas owe him nothing, maybe President Uru Kenyatta, he said in reference to the reportedly 2013 pre-election agreement that Uru would back his deputy after serving for two terms. Koyagi accused Ruto of trying to instill fear among the Mount Kenya people by allegedly warning them of dire consequences if they don't vote for him. Kikayas in the Rift Valley are living in fear as they do not know what will happen if he is defeated. The 2007 post-election violence should not be used as a tool to force a section of Kenyans to vote in a particular way, the former Sabuki legislator remarked. Koyagi further poured scorn on the DP's hustler branding saying it won't help him win the hearts of Kenyans since most people do question the source of his wealth. Ruto may be a son of a common man but today he is a billionaire and people do not know how he amassed all that huge wealth. If dynasties decide to take him down, the hustler nation will not save him, he noted in apparent reference to claims that Kenyatta, Odinga and Mwa families were opposed to DP's 2022 presidential ambition.